It's here again, the Air Power Conference with Kakra Bailey, the Walking Bible. The blessing of the Lord makes a man great. You can have degree and still not be the great. You can even have money and still not be great. It takes the blessing of the Lord to be great. Don't miss this year's Air Power Conference in the following districts. Brekum on Wednesday, 4th April 2018. Venue, Trinity Presby Church Auditorium. Sunyane on Thursday, 5th April 2018. Venue, LM City, opposite VIP Station. Dwaya on Kwanta on Friday, 6th April 2018. Venue, Emmanuel Presby Church Auditorium. There will be two sessions on each day, 10 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. For inquiries, contact 0249-217272. That's 0249-217272. EPA, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing an exciting series titled, The Blood of Jesus, with the subtitle, The Presence of God. Today, he explains why the blood of Jesus makes us close to God. Let's join in. You that were sometimes are far off, verse 13 says, and made near, which means it brings you into the presence of God. The question is, why? Explain to you why, so that you understand it. You know, one thing that people forget is that in every system, country, there are rules. And the rules differ from place to place and system to system. For example, recently I was talking to somebody who uh, was a missionary in India. And the person told me, you know, the first church that I started in India collapsed. He said, because of one thing that I did. He said, I visited this, this couple. He said, as I was sitting down, I was just shaking my leg. He said, after that, everybody left the church. Shaking your leg. When you are visiting your church member, how can it collapse your church? Then he said to me, in that part of India, when you shake your leg, it means you want to have sex with a man's wife. <laughs> so for those of you who have been shaking your leg, <laughs> that's why I said, everywhere you go, there are rules. One thing that people don't get is that the spirit realm has its own rules. And that realm, the way it op operates, is different from the way things work in the natural. All you need to do is also to understand how things work in that realm and the rules that govern it. But one thing that I noticed that I, I realized that people approach spiritual things with a carnal mind. Not understanding that the rules are different, the world is different, the principles are different. So why does the blood of Jesus bring the presence of God or make you close to God? And in this scripture, the Bible talks about five, the scripture that I just read, it talks about five ways that the blood of Jesus makes you close to God. And today I'm talking about the first one. It says, at that time, Number one, you were without Christ. What it means is that you didn't have the presence of God. But when you have the blood of Jesus, you are entitled to the presence of God. Number two, it says you were aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Which means you could not be citizens of that spiritual kingdom. It's a spiritual country, not a fiscal country. And that country has citizenship and passports. And it's the blood of Jesus that delivers that passport to you. But when you become born again, you become born in that kingdom. And everywhere you are born, you receive a passport. So it says, it makes you what? A citizen. So aliens from the commonwealth, the real, the literal means actually citizenship from the original words. Then it says, number three, is, it talks about another level of relationship. It says, strangers from the covenants of promise. The opposite of a stranger is probably, I would say, is a friend or somebody you know. 
So the blood of Jesus makes you a friend of God and makes you relate to God. Number four, it says, having no hope. So because of the blood, it says, it gives you hope. Then number five, it says, without God in this world. Then he talks about the fact that it gives you access to God in this present world. So here he's talking about the influence of God within the world that we live in. Not even after eternity, but within the framework of time. Are you understanding me? So here he shows us five ways that the blood of Jesus brings us near to God and improves our relationship. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that the blood of Jesus brings us close to God in five ways. Thus, it brings us his presence, makes us citizens and friends of the kingdom of heaven, and gives us hope and access to God in this present world. Join us same time tomorrow as Kakra continues this message. Before we leave, here is a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Healed of a four-year heart attack. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you concerning a heart attack I was experiencing for about four years. You replied and said you had prayed for me. By God's grace, I am totally healed after your prayers. Glory be to God. For your time, you can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.